The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin. Welcome, folks. Uh, Tommy O'Brien, Daryl Martin, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 90, NASDAQ's up 25, S&Ps are up 7.5. We have the gold contract trading up $1.70 at 12.90. Silver's at 1853. Bonds are flat. Uh, 30 years at 153.29. 10 year note, 126.04. King dollar. King dollar's taking some heat. It's down 428 at 100.035. The euro is 106 to the US dollar. The yen is at 108 to the US dollar. And happy Patriots Day, everyone. That's right. We'll throw it up here real quick. Yeah. Why not? So it's Patriots Day. You got the marathon, right? And I was just pulling it up. So the elite women have fired off at, at uh, 9.32 a.m. Yeah. And the men, they've probably just fired off as you started right that update, 10 in the morning. So uh, always exciting day in Boston, as we know, in uh, beautiful 70-degree weather, I think. Low is that 70s, what it is today? That's what it is. Thankfully, uh, saying I was up there, it was 84 yesterday at least. So... Fortunately for those runners, they did not want 84 degrees, I imagine. No. That, that would have been quite a shock yeah. mid-April, considering it was like 36 degrees just two days ago. But it's time for everybody to get their shots on. Yeah, that's for sure, <laughs> man. Put away those snow shovels. It's summer, for sure. Daryl Martin, what's going on? How you doing, man? How you doing this morning? Morning, Daryl. doing great, man. What's the weather like in Texas, man? Oh, it's fantastic. So it started out like in the morning, usually with like over clouds, you know, then also it gets warmer and then it ends up about 75, 85 degrees. That's beautiful. That's that beautiful. is a beautiful yeah. thing. For sure. And listen, folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, you're going to see the Nadex banner on the top of the side. You can bring that banner up, uh, hit the banner. Uh, it'll get you over to the exchange. You can test drive the uh, platform. They'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account. And you can walk along with us as we uh, trade these defined option contracts, whether you're trading indices, commodities, currencies, all of the above. So what do you got going on? We gave him a glimpse. I see some NASDAQ in here. Yeah, I sold the NASDAQ on uh, the open. And of course, the market's green. Yeah, it's green, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take a look at it. Seriously, man. So what, I, uh, I waited for the first bounce yeah, at no, least. Yeah, I hear you. But what, bottom yeah, line is that... Uh, straight up, man, right off the open, right? Yep. Yeah, there's the 930 bar, of course. Yeah, open at about 5370, call it. And we're up about 10, 11 points from there. And it looks like you're trading... Uh, okay, the 80-point spread. Uh, exactly. So, so um, you were, were you near the middle of that? Where were you? Um, I paid like uh, two oh, points, maybe. Okay, yeah. yeah. So you, had, you you were near towards near further to the top of the box. Yes. 53.90 is the top. Exactly. And yeah, it was at about 53.70. Right. Um, so looks like you got in at about 53.71. Right. Yeah, and maybe it was trading at like 53. 73 or so or something yeah even like a little bit level than that maybe, okay. yeah 57 53 69 sure right. sure right. so you're selling at two points maybe below where the current market right. was yeah so you know what we're looking at folks is that and this is going to get interesting to see how this shakes out too because you know right now the there's no doubt that nq you'll see that they just got it just got some decent volume in it as this little pop came up now that being said what you're doing is that you're coming into the downdraft that was created out there on the 11th and that's a big downdraft that's 20,000 contracts and the first see the first one we got up there and we did 9,000 yeah 9,000 contracts this one here has 36 no, it's got to be more than that there it is yeah it says 6,200 right now so we'll see whether we can get the 10,000 I got four more minutes which it could uh, where I'm going with this thing is that this dollar was that just before you jump? Yep. This, is, this is a 10 minute, right? That's we're, a 10 minute. We're only yes. at 10, 12. Yeah. That's eight minutes left in that bar. Oh, I was looking at that one. Okay, cool. That's a long time left. Yeah. 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 What I was doing is uh, we have a countdown. I was looking at something else. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's a long time left in that bar. Yeah. That's the bottom line. Yeah. And what I'm where I'm going with all of this is over to this dollar, because what the dollar hasn't done yet is this. Um, there's not a huge amount of volume. But we're down good on price. But if volume comes into that dollar, this market does not like it when the dollar is going down. So 
We'll see how this shakes out the rest of the day. But my take is that you're building cars in order to break these lower price points. Because on Thursday, we came down hard on Thursday. Yeah, that's you why know? it was interesting. I woke up this morning with yeah. a little bit more intrigue than usual just to check out the futures. Right. Because three days in with a tough day Thursday. And they were flat to slightly positive. Right, Yeah. right. So, Daryl, what are you up to? Well, um, NASDAQ, I'm, I'm waiting, looking, watching. <laughs> So it's been a, uh, you know, I, I do see it coming back down, but I think we got to move up a little bit more. Yeah. And so. And the euro is going to get interesting too. I'm looking forward to move up to like the half deviation level, which is right about where the same price I think that you're looking at. On okay. The chart there, but about 53.89. Okay. So, and uh, right around 53.90. So, and uh, I expect it to make quite a bit of resistance right there, and then uh, yeah, possibly it, bounce right off of it. So. And and what you have, folks, you know, uh, th you know, Thursday was the day before the holiday, of course. But we had the banks come out with numbers, and if you take a look at this, these banks come down hard, man. Uh, the XL XLF that had uh, 120 million shares, it broke the 22.97 that 103, and they came out with good numbers. But guess what? Look at this, J.P. Morgan. They sold that baby down. Sure. Someone was getting rid of that thing. It went from 86 to 84. It looks a lot more lower price. You stay right there, folks. Tommy, Daryl, myself, we're coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow's up 90. Nasdaq's up 27. S&P's are up 8. We're going to right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now.
toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tommy O'Brien, Daryl Martin, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growl and a problem with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow up uh, 99. You get the NASDAQ up 33. S&Ps are up 6.5. And, and if we do go over and we take a look at that VIX, uh, your VIX is at 15.5. Hit 16 today. Yeah, it was even, uh, yeah, 16.28 even it was up to. Look at that. Yeah. And, and what's so intriguing about this, folks, is that you have a market, you know, Friday, the, the market trying to catch a bid, I mean, uh, Thursday and Wednesday, and both days, you know, with Thursday in particular, the, the market pulled back, but this VIX is hanging up there, man, you know? Yeah, because it was, what was, it was almost a 200-point move um, in the Dow on Thursday, yes. right? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And that's what that rule of 16 one percent right? move almost, right? And VIX at 16 is saying a 1% move every one out of three days, and, you know, we're in triple digits again today, so... We'll see what happens. It's a big number. It is. It it's is. A, it's, a, it's a big number, no doubt. And now if you take a look at uh, King Dollar just broke the 100. What's intriguing here is that, you know, you have King Dollar basically getting lower. Gold won't get lower. Uh, it had a nice run last week. And, of course, gold is kind of nervous about the whole situation happening in the world. <laughs> you know, it's like no one wanted to go home for you know, long, I mean, shot gold folks on, on Thursday. Sure. You know, because it's like, okay. And, you know, it hasn't finished its ABC up yet, so it's going to be intriguing, you know, see, you know, how this thing wants to hit this $1,317 level. Because it's, you know, for gold, that's not a long reach right now. No, we're you right know? there, yeah. We're, we're right there. And all it's going to take is... A sneeze over in the Korean Peninsula. To, Oof, man, I know. Yeah. You had Pence over there, right? The vice president. Was he over there in the yes. demilitarized zone? Right? I, yeah. I believe he's there right now. Is he? Yeah. In the DMZ. And if you've ever been to the DMZ, if folks. If you've ever been. Who is. If anybody's ever been to the DMZ, call us. We would love to hear from you. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't, <laughs> well, I've been there. Yeah. Okay. You, you can look right You over. say that like, of course I have, but please elaborate. Oh, I mean, I, well, you've been in the demilitarized zone? What happens is that you, there's. I it's, just. It's, okay. it's this. Well, you, you don't walk you've into it. You've been to South Korea you and you've seen it. You don't walk into it. it. There's, there's well, a, you can walk into it. That's what, that's what it is. No, there's guards there. So what happens is that you're, there's, a, there's a wall. But if you realize how, my, my point is if you realize how small this is, this right. is like, you know, you have a city and there's a wall along the city and there's a fence and one's yeah. looking at the other. It's, it's like insane. A, right, no, it's just a... a yeah, right. it's, it's pretty intense, folks. Sure. So the bottom line is that uh, <laughs> you don't want anything happening over there. Yes. Because, you know... Yeah. Yeah. Tensions are high. Yeah, those those poor people, man. No matter what side they're on, are going to will be a bad scene. So, but but that's what gold is looking at too. You know, of course. We'll see how this dollar. You know, the the dollar. Um, you know, trade, um, Daryl. I mean, that dollar euro, the yen dollar. That yen's getting stronger too. Daryl. Yes, I'm here. Can oh. you hear me? Yes. Okay, yeah, yen's. Yin's climbing up in the middle of all this right there with all the tension and everything as well. Yep. And, you know, what happens, folks, is when this yen gets stronger, um, yeah. And when you say stronger, the chart's actually dropping down. Yes. Because this is... It, it's inverse, exactly. Yeah. So, you know, in, you know, in December, folks, it was 118 yen to one U.S. dollar. Now it's only 108. And the night of the election, we went from 101 to 105. You know, I suspect it's, it's just making its way back into that area. So it's going to be intriguing watching in our own dollar index. That's where that took off from, too. Yeah. Yeah. Which, which is good for us and, as, you know, in trading with Japan. So that give us a little more. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, it, to, it devalue our dollar, you know, actually helps us in, you know, exporting trade. Right. Exactly. In our export trades. Yeah. It's, well, it's going to be interesting because... What you, what you have here, too, folks, in the dollar, on, on a longer-term basis, is that that 100.600, and this is where, you know, inside the Nadex platform, if you can catch on to, and this is an anything, any, I mean, any trade, I guess, but if you can t catch on to a longer-term trend, what ends up happening is that you feel like a genius because the market keeps saving you, whether you saved yourself or not. Sure. And this area of 100 point it's 100, 600 actually. 
there, there it is right there. That 100, 600, it's a big number. You know, it, it popped its head over, stayed over there for, you know, quite a while. Sure. But got back inside it. Yeah. You get back inside it, and we can go to the other side of it. And the other side of it is a long way down. It's quite a steep decline before it is. that. Yeah. 93, 92, 91. Yeah. And, you know, well, that's going to say quite a bit. Uh, bonds are still saying they want higher price, lower yield, which is a total mind blower. But that's what's <laughs> happening. I mean, look at this. We're at 2.27 right now, folks. How's that? Yeah, I'm looking at the three months. We're right, yeah. at, we're right at the lows, basically. Um, yeah. We put this on a six month. Still at the higher end, right? Yeah. Is that, yeah middle. That, middle. The middle, yeah. But bottom line is that, uh, you know. The last three months have been intense when you look at they the had Fed raising rates and bonds just going higher. Right, yeah. right. You know, it's like, okay, you know. Um, How about oil? One take, oh, yeah. Oil, we're at like 53 bucks now. And we'll see if that can kind of hold above that $50 level as, you know, the news reports today, of course, they're saying everybody wants to pump more oil, of course, at $53. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Who wouldn't? It's always amusing when you hear those, you know, news and it's like, oh, the market's reacting because they're saying that, you know, more supply might come online. It's like, well, obviously, right? I mean, we're right. It's like that, right? I mean, Daryl, I mean, it's just you, you always... You raise the price of oil and more supply is going isn't to come that, online. You know, and it's like, yeah, oh, well, that's what's moving... Open up those pumps again, yeah. Yeah, it's like, that's what's moving it today. It's like, you, you don't think people that are trading oil know that as it it's creeps above 53, yeah. that there's going to be supply coming online and... Right. Um, but... Anyway, you still fifty-three dollars, not a bad price for oil, right? No, now. And it, yeah. you know what? It's this chart's not looking that bad, folks. It's actually, you know, it's that downdraft was vicious on it, March eighth, you know, but it's it's it looks like it wants to build some cars to try to get up over it. So, oil numbers Wednesday, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, it's interesting too. Where so even Larry New, Larry Pesmento's newsletter. Um, yes. He did an awesome show last hour, of course, but uh, he was talking about a little bit, you know, just with the same thing we're talking about with the turmoil in the Middle East, Korea, bombs flying. Um, sometimes that can send oil higher, and it hasn't sent oil higher. Oh, and so maybe yeah. there's a negative bias there, because if you're dealing with that, you know, when there might be the opportunity for it to really trade a little bit higher, and it, and it hasn't, right. what does that say if, you know, it really can't get if higher on a little bit of fear in... All sorts of no, it, it, you know I don't even need to list. Uh, it, it, right. right, if things calm down, it can go south very quickly. Yeah, exactly. I, I agree. Yeah. Now the problem something to keep in mind at least. Yeah, no, no, yeah. no doubt, no doubt, man. I mean, those bomb, you know, that's Afghanistan throwing that big bomb over there. It's like oil's like, no, nah, we're cool, you know. It's I like, know. And it's like that's that's things no. could escalate quickly, as we all know. Don't so. worry, everything's okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, like uh, that was resolved next, but yeah. Also, we're not really relying upon them for oil. Yeah, no, there's a lot of different, right. our, our own oil input uh, output at yeah. this stage is, is a big deal, but. Yeah, it's getting you know, huge. Yeah. At least at least a fear spike or something, and, the, the, and there was the, nothing the, there, you know, not yeah. even a real spike, but just right. some kind of fear, and there was nothing saying. But that, we have some of that VIX maintenance, so it's still staying up there, though. Okay. So it's not just, not just dissipating with the market climbing, which is. Okay. Yeah, which is saying we, we got a downdraft coming, exactly. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Because you know, everyone's option, paying up for insurance here, folks. You know, option, but, option volatility moves before the market moves. Yeah. So, wow. You stay right there, folks. Uh, Daryl, Tom, and myself, we're coming right back. Uh, our phone number is 877 927 6648. Dow's up 91. Nasdaq's up 28. SPs are up 7.5. Gold's up 320. Gonna be right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today.
Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow right now uh, is up 85. You get the Nasdaq up 27. S&Ps are up 7.5. So let's take a look uh, inside the indices and see what's moving them. If you take a look at the Dow Industrials, uh, the move is out here inside the Dow is that you have uh, Boeing putting 15 points in, into the number, IBM putting 7, 3M7, Home Depot 6. Taken away from it, you don't have many, right? Uh, you've had Chevron taking not even a point. None of these are taking a point away. 12 cents, not even. Not even. Yeah. Yeah, barely a dime. American Express. $105 stock. And yeah. Exxon. That's yeah. it. Pennies. Yeah. Inside one, the thing to, one thing to remember, too, is we're a day after a holiday. Yes. So and it's Patriots Day. Like, yeah, I mean, Massachusetts. No, no one's Boston, Boston, yeah. there. Yeah. So oh. everybody in Boston is out right That's now. That's a real holiday. They were. They were talking about it in the den. They had lines out in Fenway at 8 o'clock in the morning to get into those parties, man. I'm jealous. That's right. <laughs> and, and most of the time, too, I wonder if the Red Sox are playing up there, too, because that happens a lot, too. I'm not sure. The same yeah. day. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not sure. Um, it's, it's, it's a party day, that's for sure. Yeah. It's a no celebration, doubt. for sure. And it is cool. So you got the, the women went off at 9.30. We're about 10.30 now. I think, what do they take? About 2 hours, 2.20 maybe, 2.30. Men come in at like just over 2.05. Maybe the women are 2.15. I'm not a marathoner, so I'm not familiar with the times. But, uh... <laughs> um, also, uh, it's pretty cool. This weekend, uh, I watched uh, Patriots Day. You know, they made the Did movie. Did you? Nice. Yes. About the bomber. And uh, with my daughter, Felicity. Nice. And, uh, you know, because she wasn't really aware of the event, you know, nice. whenever it happened. And uh, so we sat down and watched it, and um, she was, like, really impressed, you know, just by the, how people came back. Nice. Yeah. You know? That was, I, I really and enjoyed that the, film. The, I watched the it a spirit, couple weeks ago. The spirit ago. of the city, you know, she was like, wow, that's really cool that everybody just like came back in and, yep. you know, the, the stories and the, you know, the husband and wife and, right. you know, just, there's so many things that, you know, happened. I mean, that, that was just a few of the, you know, many stories. And, I'm sure. Right. Yeah. But it was, it was sort of cool to sit down and watch it with her and let her see that and let her see people like, you know, going through that. But, you know, it's like, hey, you know, we're Americans, we're patriots. No, it's inspiring, man. I hear you. I haven't about, seen the movie, yeah. but I plan on it. You were telling me just that husband and wife is pretty inspiring. There's it, a lot. It, yeah. it all is. Right. It all there's is. a lot. That's, it, yeah. it all is. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of stories nobody's even heard of, right, right that didn't make it right. on that day yeah. in terms of what you're dealing right. with. Um, and Can't not even so much in a couple hours. But yeah, it was, yeah. Uh, it was it was it was well done. And, you know, they got a lot of people from the, you know, north and everything on that. And it was just, it was well, you know, it was just, it was good. Yeah, you had the It was access. cool to watch it with her and, you know, her to see that history, that real what history, else? you know. <laughs> yes, no, but, I, I agree. And and particularly, I think, because it happened so uh, a short time ago. That may, it, it's still right here. Yes. You know what I mean? So that's a different impact. Very current yeah. history, yeah. right? Nice. Very current yeah. history. Talking about like, hey, they're doing this, you know, this week, you know, and she's like, oh, wow. You know, so yeah. it's made it very, very real, you know. Yeah, so. yeah. It's awesome. 
And listen, folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, um, you know, Tommy, Daryl, myself, we do the show, excuse me, <coughs> every Monday and Friday. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we're always trading the next product also. That's right. Uh, but bottom line is that uh, as you come over to TFNN, Hit that Nadex banner. You can bring up the account, and you'll see how these defined option contracts trade. Um, yeah, yeah, and we'll just jump to it. I mean, we have the Tiger Dolls still up there. They're going to be coming down soon. We're not gonna even going to plug that because we did last week. But Basil Chapman, he is coming up Thursday. He's coming up at 11 o'clock. So you can get a free trial to the opening call Thursday, April 20th. He'll be in there doing a 90-minute workshop following Andy Hex program Thursday evening, 6 till 7.30 for subscribers to the opening call already a subscriber you don't have to do anything that'll be right on your members page it'll be archived and he's going to be talking go. about what stocks should participate in the next part of this mega bull markets phase when the correction is completed correction markets up 100 points we'll have to see what basil has to say <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I'm totally. telling you. but that'll be good yeah dude. and then just the um jumping around again uh so john logan started started nine not, before nine nine before nine so if people checked it out he'll be going from about 8 48 to 857 so get in there by 845 maybe yep. be watching tiger tv he'll do nine minutes and um he's even going to take calls during that so Good. it's going to be quick time but if you yep. have a call you get in there he bounced around to all the markets looking at the he scanner did. taz right. market profiles and um i see that being just like your 10 o'clock updates awesome yep. people like it you know quick action lots of good information right five days a week he's committed to it now he's going to be on there before mm -hmm. nine o'clock and he'll give everybody a good take on what's what's going on with the market right. so and check it out those numbers are important folks inside they are. those profiles I they mean, are and larry was grabbing well we all grab right onto them right yeah they're, they're important they're, man they're, for they're, sure there's no doubt about that i mean they're similar to how daryl works with the deviations you know right. you're looking at really you know areas of support resistance and they're important as we all know they for sure. Are. And, you know, we haven't broken any of them for a while, but <laughs> guess what? It, we will. Well, it's amazing. We'll see what happens. Maybe, 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 going up maybe forever, in this lifetime. I'm, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and then taxes. They're talking about taxes. Oh, so if anybody haven't done their taxes, you got until tomorrow That's right. yeah. to, uh, to just file an extension. It's no, to get them today, right? No, it's actually tomorrow because what happened is I think it's, is it Emancipation Day? Remember, this oh, is where, so there's right. a holiday in D.C. today. Um, wow. and, and as a result of the DC, 18th. that's right. It's the 18th, so it's tomorrow. Actually, Thank is tax God day. Thank God for holidays. There you no. go. Okay. There you go. Well, mine will you get a 24-hour reprieve. It's going in today. Oh, I, I don't believe that. It's going to get filed tomorrow at 5 5:59 when the. I already have it. John oh? sent it. Oh, okay, yeah. we'll see. Right. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> that I have at least. <laughs> that that doesn't mean it's getting filed, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Last second, we'll get it done. Let's go take a look at uh, inside the NDX 100, what the strength versus the weakness is. So uh, the strength is NVIDIA, that's up 2.5%. Netflix is up 2%. Uh, JB uh, Hunt is up 1.6%. And you got Liberty up 1.1%. Uh, taken away from it. Oh, look at that. Uh, Insight. That Insight is getting smoked. That's down 11%. Let's I guess see there's some news on yeah, that company. This, this is definitely biopharma company. They're always biopharmas when they're up or down like... <laughs> 10 or 12 you know we can jump around too maybe this uh, so we'll jump to eli Lilly next because they're yeah. also getting smacked this are morning they? yeah okay so we are getting that little pullback i called on nasdaq at 5389 50 there 5390. yeah and look they at had that a, they had a drug come out that had problems yep oh there you go they were tied to it yeah yeah FDA rejects potential blockbuster from rheumatoid arthritis right. um which i think is a huge it is affliction in terms of who it affects. It is. Yeah, um, that is such a bad disease. Yeah, man. it hurts. These right. people. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So Lily's down five percent. Insight was down ten percent. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when you find out one of your products is not available for sale in the future, yeah. that'll that'll hurt your stock price. Yep. You get dished down two point seven percent. The rest of the market's not that bad though. Yeah. Um, Look at Dish, though. That's getting, going on that's with them. getting toasted, too. Let's see. What is Dish? Dish yeah. is the big... Let's see. Let's see. She just fell... What we got going on? Yeah, it just dishes down like a buck seventy-five with some volume. I was trying to... Just to see whether they losing subscribers or what it is, but I can't seem to find it. You versus better. What is? <laughs> U-verse, uh, the fiber AT&T. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
I've never had dish. I don't know, you know, some people, I bet, especially when you're in the more rural or something like that, I'm sure it's great, right, if you don't have the right, landline. Exactly. Um, well, I, I had a dish, and, but then, like, when, like, the one day it snowed in Texas, okay, <laughs> the one day, like, it covered my dish, and I had no TV. I'm like, really, we have a snow day, and now I can't even watch anything. And wow. that's tough, and then, you know, if you're using that for, for internet, too, I believe, right? right, it's like, you know, in this day and age, it's funny how you need, you know, services of the essence, and you, you know, it being is. down for one day is almost unacceptable. Especially, you know, Daryl, you know, if you're at home trading or, or doing any kind of business, anybody's right. at home, um, yeah. you don't want to be subject to just weather knocking you off the grid. No. In Dallas, they have the fiber one gigabyte now, so it's like nice. flying fast there. Nice. You stay right there, folks. Daryl, Tom, and myself, we're going to be coming right back. Dow right now is up 79. Nasdaq's up 29. S and P's are up six and a half. We're going to be right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back. 
back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 84, Nasdaq's up 24, S&Ps are up six and a half, and in Boston, it looks like we have a little tailwind, huh? Yeah, we don't got it, they got no, it, they right? Have, they yeah. got it. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. So we were looking at, so temperatures are 70 degrees at the start, which if it's 70 at 10 in the morning, they're saying it might only rise to 72, but sunny skies too. When you're in the sun, I was up there, yep. you're in the sun, it's like when you're in the sun in Florida versus the shade, it's a different world. Um, but 13 miles an hour, maybe gust up to 30, and you can see that a strong tailwind and cooler temperatures in 2011 helped uh, Jeffrey Mutai maybe finish in two hours, three minutes, and two seconds, which was the fastest marathon in history. Wow. Um, so when they get a nice tailwind and they get some cool temperatures, we'll see with maybe a tailwind in some higher temperatures, because middle of April, this is high for them. Yeah, you know what I mean? Definitely. Yesterday was right. an anomaly, 84 degrees up there, and I, mean, I think overnight, a day before, it was like as low as 36. So you're talking about 50 degree swing in almost 24 to 36 hours. Pretty, pretty That's amazing. insane it is. And the sad part, folks, is that, you know, we're in the middle of April that this summer really won't come until June. <laughs> They're still going to get some cooler <laughs> yeah, days. Hopefully right. they're out of the, the woods with snow right. um, to this point. The, you know, they put their shovels away. But they have some cool things just jumping around. Uh, Carlos Arredondo, Arredondo. So okay. people may remember him. He was in the cowboy hat helping people out when they had the bombing in 2013. So they yeah. got him there greeting people as they're jumping on the buses this morning. Bunch okay. of good feelings, I'm sure. You wow. know. And then you have some of the women out there, the elite pack, breaking away already um, for the women's race. Yeah. So it looks like if they start at 9:30, it'll be around 12. That's what. Yeah. I mean, they're then... already an hour and 15 minutes in the race. They're probably at least halfway done. Um, right. The women are, and the, the men are 45 minutes into the race, and it's pretty staggering when you see some of the, the you know the miles that they're clocking for 26 miles they're clocking like five six minute miles i think for 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 the that entirety yeah. of it right yeah yeah if it's two hours and that's it you know 10 minutes that's right? it yeah you're doing you're doing 12 12 miles in in an hour basically for two straight hours i mean i would struggle to keep up with that on my bike but hey that's why <laughs> i'm serious <laughs> I, that's what i know I'm right. not, I'm yeah i know no I'm, you're I'm, laughing I'm, at just how, like, how yeah, amazing like, it is it, i agree it I totally is. It, is it is it is so we'll see what happens but our cool. phone is 877-927-6648 so, folks I was just going to say, let's jump back, because right. Daryl was talking about, you know, 5390 kind of up there. Yep. We're back down 5378 now. So you see you got two contracts in here. Even though market's at 5378, you can see the current market for the spread, 5377 maybe, and that's kind of what you're talking about, of course, because the ceiling's 5390. Right. There's going to be premium priced in there. Looks like there's about two points in there, give or take right now. Um, but yeah, definitely bouncing off, and we'll see if we can get some negative side action as, right. it, as it continues. And this is where, folks, the defined, you know, contract value is helpful in the aspect that, you know, whatever you're putting up, you know, that is the most amount that you can lose. Yeah. And, and it doesn't mean that you have to stay in the trade either to do right. that. You know? So your average price getting in here was 53.71. Right. You're 19 points below the top of the box, so you're paying $190 per contract. Right. And... You know, you have that until the expiration at 415, and right. your break even, of course, is 5371. Right. Let's see where it goes. And you know, if you get out of town, there's a there's a there's a, there's a good risk versus reward on that. Baby. Yeah, I mean, you have profit yeah. potential for another full 70 points below right. where it's at right now, which right. is you know pretty which pretty. It's ten dollars a point, and that's how. Yes. That, yeah. Yes. Like, yeah, Correct. And uh, and, it, and this this dollar, you know, we'll see uh, the dollar. The market's not paying attention to the dollar breaking 100 right now. You know, we'll, we'll see if that changes. Uh, what has happened is that since uh, we were on break, the dollar broke a second time and gold has got up to five bucks now. Not that five bucks is a lot, but psychologically, two to five at these levels are going to make a big difference because yeah. we're, we're approaching getting, 1300. Yeah, we're approaching 1300. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And platinum's got a nice bid, man. Uh, it's interesting looking at platinum because platinum has been weak in an extraordinary way folks um pl right here just boom yeah go for it gpo beautiful okay so this contract which is a july contract is up 13 and a half dollars it's taken out its swings let's see if we get any volume behind this move yeah it's gonna have the volume you know we'll see i mean right now you got 8900 contracts you're gonna want over 13,000, 12,700, but you you can get that uh, this won't close to 1.30 pit trade. Okay. So right now we're at, uh, what, 10.30? Quarter? Yeah, 10.45. Quarter yeah. That could get it. And that, that'd be a big number because you can see um, platinum has been below gold now, I think, over two years, which is almost unheard of. I don't know, you know, I don't know what the number is, but since I remember doing the gold report 
I don't think it's been that long. So that'd be 2001, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And we'll see if that changes, you know? But most of the time, what you have, folks, is that platinum is much harder to get out of the ground. Uh, and what I mean by that, the ore itself, there's less of it. The ore is very hard to get out of the rock. That's why platinum is always more precious than gold. Okay. You know? And it has more practical uses in terms of catalytic it, it, converters. It That's a big part of it as well, it not does. just pulling it out. Yeah, it does. Big time. Oh, and Mr. Basil Chapman's getting ready for 11 o'clock. He's going to have yeah. live reports as they come right past him. He's got helicopters over his house. Right. There the, they go. The, he uh, does. And so Basil, folks, is at Hot Break Hill. That's in, in Newton. Now, is if, it? Okay. When you look at so. if you look at, well, I don't know if he's right on the hill. I'm saying, <laughs> that's that's when you're watching the you know the the marathon. That's Hot Break Hill is the is the big deal. That that's why they call it Hot Break Hill. Yeah. I don't mind running, but I don't run up hills. So yeah, and that, and, and that well, that's after they're getting close that's to it. home. That that's I mean, they've already run think, yeah. a long period of time. Sure, sure. Do you know sure, what I mean? So sure. it's like, oh, you yeah. gotta be kidding me. Man. Yes. Um, some of the higher volume stocks in this market. Let's take a look. Uh, we get Bank of America up five cents. You get uh, Still Want to Mine up sixty three. That's that's a takeover, I believe. Uh, U.S. Steel. Oh, hey, check this out, folks. You want to these steel stocks? Okay, are in trouble. Uh, these things broke down last week with volume, you know, so U.S. Steel over 29.21, that looks like it's going to make its way down to this 21 area. What's the impact on them right now? Well, the, the, that infrastructure trade reversed, you know, when, when it started out, started out, U.S. Steel started out at $17, um, ran to 39 immediately, you know, well, I yeah. say immediately by, within by a month, 8th, yep. and then broke down. And broke down with volume. It's like saying, hey, man, we're going all the way back down to 21. AK Steel got absolutely devastated. AK was the first one down. That's at 630 right now, and it started out at 567. Yeah, and you keep going started out, which is right. You know, it's it was a week ahead of the election, November yeah. 2nd. And what's remarkable, though, is we are back to basically the election day um, on AK Steel. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah. and U.S. Steel is approaching. So it's taking too long, folks. And... What have you done for me lately, man? Right now, that's what and the market's saying. The steel company Seriously. is saying you have done nothing for me. I mean, we see just Apple. Apple pushes back their launch for the iPhone 8 like a month, right? And the yep. market says, what are you doing? You know, time is of the essence when you're a public company, man. You have it no is. time to push things back. It's amazing. Investors demand, you know, expectations <laughs> are everything, and expectations are right now. Yeah. I got to see. There's, there's, let's see if this uh, seizes. AE. To spell, no, uh, no. CZR? Huh. No. Well, what was it? What was it? Because there's a story out here this morning. I got to get this story. Um, it's about Caesars have been losing money left and right, and they're paying their CEO like a fortune. It was, okay. on, it was on the top uh, part really? earlier. Yeah. You stay right there, folks. Uh, Daryl, Tom, and myself, we'll be coming right back. Dow right now is up 89, NASDAQ's up 25, SPs are up 7. We'll be right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. 
you get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with the Global Market Pulse. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with hosts Tom and Tommy O'Brien along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN show and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 95, Nasdaq's up 27, S&P's are up 7.5. And, and you know, when you read the headline of this, it says, Down this luck, Caesar pays online chief Garber a 210 million. So, yeah. you know, when I first read it, it's almost like, wow, that's paying a lot of money. But Especially when Caesar's maybe struggling. And they're, right. They're definitely right. not a powerhouse in terms of what, you know, it talks about that that puts him in the same realm as, you know, Blackstone, just, just yes. mammoth right. CEOs of companies that are KKR, yep. um, just crushing the market in right. terms of um, not what Caesar's is doing. But yeah. you dig in there, when right? When you read through it, though, yeah. He put up some of his own capital and he really turned, not turned around, but he, yeah. he, he, took their online gaming unit. Um, so let's just, the Garber, 52-year-old Canadian who had Caesars Entertainment's online gaming unit, owes his big payday to, to the sale last summer of the social gaming business to the, a Chinese consortium for $4.4 billion, about 18 times what, what Caesars paid. So I think they paid all in about $250 million. It says yeah. it later. Not bad, right? You no. paid $250 million or something, sell it for $4.4 billion. Right. Um, and he Huge. was instrumental in this. It goes yes. in, and he even had some of his own money in the early, early early stages of this. So yeah, he had about, his haul includes almost 168 million for stock options and restricted shares, along with a more down to earth 1.7 million in salary. So it really is all that came yep. from this. But uh, he's, he's a Canadian that's a celebrity of sorts in his native Quebec, where he once worked as a TV sportscaster and a judge on a French language version of a business competitive show, Shark Tank, as we all are familiar with, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, and the Cirque du Soleil, right? He does it. Yeah, I'm jumping around. He has some some playing there, but so and this is where. I think it's around party. Huh. Yeah. Now, party gaming is party poker. Yeah. Which was the first <laughs> big online poker site to really crack okay. it in the U.S. and abroad. Yeah. Um, they left the U.S. I forget what year when there was a crackdown, and that's when if people are familiar, poker stars and full tilt, but party poker is still big. Um, but here's where. So Garber invested a million dollars dollars of his own money in the founding of Caesars Interactive Entertainment, which was then valued at only $35 million. I mean, that's, when you're investing a million dollars in a tiny company like that, million. that can go broke in no time, right. $35 million. Oh, for sure. So, and um, they end up getting four point something billion for it. Though, well, right? yeah, things go different. So uh, from, a, from a friend, Garber heard about a social gaming business in Israel called Playtica. Um, Playtica. It consisted of 13 employees and was generating $10 million a year in earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation. In 2011, he persuaded Caesars, then um, CEO Gary Loveman, and the company controlling shareholders to buy it for about $110 million 
and subsequent ap acquisitions brought the total investment to 250 million. So that's where you get 250 million, and wow. they ended up selling that for 4.4 billion. And he had invested a million dollars of that when the company was only worth 35 million. Right. So I mean, wow. that's that's quite a shift that on, on how yeah. he had some real sweat in the game there. He did. He did. Um, and, and that sale is basically the only reason that Caesars is probably still Caesars or is not oh, owned. They gonna, they, I guess they're going to make it out of bankruptcy now. That's that, a, I mean, yeah. yeah, you're talking about the sale provided Caesars with billions of dollars at a critical time that the Las Vegas-based company was negotiating debt restructuring. And mm -hmm. I bet $4 billion helps when you're working with your creditors, right? <laughs> Could you imagine? Yeah. Seriously, man. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Pretty cool, though. Pretty cool. And congrats that's, to him, you know, yeah. because that's, hey, not a, lot, not a lot of CEOs actually risk a million dollars on only a $35 million venture. It's right. different. You know, you put a right. million dollars into like J.P. Morgan stock or something, you're not going broke. You know, you right. might lose a little bit something. Right. You put a million dollars in a venture like that, online gaming, only oh, pulling yeah. it, that could be broke in two years and you just lose it all. Or, 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 uh, or you can make, you can make yeah, $100 exactly. Dollars. Or yeah. you, you know, you sign a check for <laughs> you get 18 a times quarter, your money. quarter of a billion dollars. Um, and he had some, he had some cool quotes just in there himself saying, I almost couldn't believe my pay stub. You know, yeah, no doubt, man. no doubt. Pretty amazing. Yeah. You stay right there, folks. We'll get our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming up next. And, of course, then we'll go to Think and Swim headquarters. Steve Rhodes, uh, Dave White, I'll be back. Daryl, you have a great week, safe week. And, of course, we look forward to speaking to right here on Friday. All right. Thanks, okay. man. Take one. care. Have a great one. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Basil's coming right up. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Go get him. Go get him, Boston Marathon. There we go. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.